the morning. Yes. Yes. Hi. Hello. Okay, while well, waiting for others to join, uh, let's. Uh, we have made the goal for today too. Yeah, great. Yeah, I I told Taruna uh, Mam whether yes whether you or other students will provide kahoots for us. It was wonderful and it's a fun way learning insects. Yes. And, well, I think uh, it is the first time for you all uh, to explore or dive more about uh, the life on insects, is it? Yes. Okay, great. We are getting uh, towards the topic of insects. Otherwise, we just uh, knew about the butterfly cycle mm -hmm. and uh, metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. And like what kind of insects are there? Mm -hmm. uh, sessions. We didn't know like today we prepared for the dragonfly. We got to know about lots of things about dragonfly. Wonderful. So uh, your knowledge is uh, more sharp, right? You know, right? So uh, do you like it's this station? After having collaborations. All right, it's great and wonderful, and yeah, I, I'm happy if the session gives you more insight to the, uh, the little creatures like insects that's often neglected or ignored before. Hello. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Good. sharing screen you can stop the video and we will start the station yes. that's uh, the class of participants here would like to record yes, without without costumes but if you have a custom you you can do that and then uh, I already discussed with teacher Nirmala that uh, you can post mm -hmm. it in the work lab so because previously I collaborated with teacher Nirmala too. So we, we expand our collaboration with a other fun way, okay? Okay. Well, now without any further, let's uh, come to the session that today we will discuss about the, the magic of flies, butterflies, dragonflies, and fireflies. All about flies, flies, flies. All right. So I just uh, earlier talked with Abby said that uh, yeah, they never know about other life of insects until season. So they just know about the butterflies, but they. Uh, like neglected information about other flies, other insects. So I'm glad that uh, we collaborate in this session too. So without uh, any further, let's have uh, SD ICS students to have uh, flies to present about flies. Time is yours.
Not you, did it? Yes, we can see the screen. Who is the first? Okay, thank you, ma'am. It will be a start by Roya. Roya, oh. time is yours. Hello, we are from SD Asia Kota Malang, Indonesia. Today, we will present about the magic of flies. Hello, my name is I will tell you about what is fly. Flies are a type of insect of the order Diptera. The most obvious difference between flies and other order insects is that flies have a pair of fleeing wings and a pair of halters, which come from the hind wings on metathorax. Kinds of fly. One, genus masca. Two, fly. Three, four, flies. Five, turtle flies. And blow flies. Over to you, Aurel. Over to you, Aurel. Thank you, Raya. Hello, my name is Aurel. I will tell you about the future of flies. Has no spine on infected bed. Has legs and a limb. A very conflict of genes. Head, chest, and brain. Has wings attached to the chest segment. Has antennas. Diseases caused by flies. Diseases caused by flies, namely, one, diarrhea, two, dysentery, three, cholera, four, typhus, five, infection. Over to you, Daniel. Thank you, Aurel. Hello, my name is Daniel. I will tell you about advantage of fly. Fly are beneficial for the world of health, namely for disease therapy using larva from flies. Commonly, therapy is one alternative treatment to treat to treat ulcer. Flies are one of the decomposing animal household waste. Thank you, Daniel. My name is Ul. I will tell you about where flies live. Okay. And then, fifteen, 15 kilometers in. 24 hours. Miss Fire name in 1.5 kilometers around the prison site, but some can dig as far as 50 kilometers. Oh. Mm -hmm. Over to you. Thank you, Olu. I will tell you. Hello, my name is Hannah. I will tell you what of I. <laughs> Flies find their food only by eating roasting in the litter and carcasses of other animals. To accompany from coffee, need a liquid heat. Offer to your son. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, thank you, Hana. Hello, my name is Isan. I will tell you about life life cycle. Metamorphosis of life cycles of one eight is in life. Metamorphosis, the first <coughs> phase of a metamorphosis of the live animal is the egg. Two, larva. Larva, larva please. Is in place metamorphosis of earth and a fly animal will hit the larva comes comes out it all singlet over to you Chalia. Thank you, Isan. Hello, my name is Talia. I will tell you about fly's life cycle. Three, pupa phase in fly metamorphosis. The next phase is to become a pupa. The places it usually chooses are dark places and protected from direct sunlight. The structure in the body can change like a cocoon. 4. Imago phase in fly metamorphosis of the fly is an imago or a dark fly. Over to you, Novita. Okay, thank you, Chaoya. Hello, my name is Nafita. I will tell you about forecasting the fly's life cycle. Overall, this animal only takes a short time to complete the animal. metamorphosis, each fly takes a different time. The difference in, in time is caused by several factors including 1. Temperature 2. Food 3. Light Over to you, Belva. Belva, are you there? Over. Okay, thank you, Novita. Hello, my name is Delva. How long do flies last to live? In summer, the age of flies range from two until four weeks. While in winter, it can reach 70 days without water. Flies cannot live more than 46 hours, so that the life span of flies in general ranges from 2 until 70 days. Some fact about flies. A. Has a keen sense of B. Myotic flies eyes. C. One fly carries many bacteria. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful presentation. Thank you, you ma'am. We are done. Hey, <laughs> Chiyoti, ma'am. Okay, let me clarify that it's uh, not flies itself who carry or who cause diarrhea or other diseases, but the bacteria or viruses that 
flies carried into their body that cause the diseases. So remember that it's not that fly itself that causes tough diseases, but the bacteria and fly who attacks or uh, yeah, who did attach on the uh, flies. So flies is a carrier, right? And then you know that's a uh, uh, even flies can see uh, three sixty uh, three sixty degrees. So when fly like uh, position head position like this, it can see on the back wall. So wonderful. And other thing that uh, NASA use fly, especially Drosophila melanogaster, or very small fly, to be to be one of uh, research for NASA. So, so NASA use a fly as uh, okay. Let me show you. Okay, that NASA use fly. Okay, hello, I'll tell you. okay. Hello. Okay, now I will tell you later. And now, uh, Ramakya School Dadri, time is yours. <clears throat> Children from Ramagi School Dadri, share your presentation and share your uh, work, what you have researched and you have just share with the, the other schools and other children. Shreya, are you going to share or uh, Shreya? Okay, then I'm sharing. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Welcome to Ramagya School Dari, India. Dragonfly. Over to Parisha. Introduction of Dragonfly. Dragon plants are well known insects and many people approve their psyche, dry skin, color, and equilibrium flight. They are recognized by their long and slender abdomen, their large blue blue eyes, which often make up a large protein of the head. A large portion of head, their short antenna and their long wings. Over to Abhishek. Thanks. So now let me tell you guys about the dragonflies habitat. So dragonflies are one of the most beautiful insects in this world. They're ha uh, they're a very good variety of colors on their bodies. There are more than three thousand species of dragonflies living all around the world. So they are very friendly insects. They don't bite the humans. So let me tell you the exact habitat. So dragonflies are found in almost all parts of the world, means all across the globe. They prefer to live near the areas of water because they find that these areas are suitable for laying eggs for them. Over to Anshika. Parts of dragonfly. Like all insects and dragonflies, made up of three body parts, head, thorax, and endopen. The head is stuffed round with capsule hollowed at the out at the back to allow efficient attachment of the neck and to increase head mobility. The mouth is a complex hatch pouch of the of structures that you do not in dark alley. Upper lip or labrum is often considered part of the face. The lower lip, the labrum. Some type of skin is made up of three lobes. Species. Around 7,000 species of true dragonflies are alive today and together with the closely related denser flies. They form the group Adonta, which goes back 325 million years. Over to Hersher. Okay, thank you, Shriya. Hello, everyone. This is me, Hachal Rathu, from Grade 7, Ramadhyay School, Dadri, India. 
So today I'm going to tell you the life cycle of dragonfly. So let's begin. They have three stages. They have three stages in their life cycle. As larva, adult, and repeat again. They have three stages in their life cycle. As larva, adult. So adult dragonfly have a long and slender abdomen, two pairs of wings, and three pairs of legs. They also have very large eyes. Over to Arvind. Life is part of dragonfly. Life is part in their larva stage, which can last up to two, uh, two years. Dragonflies are aquatic and eat just about anything. That includes mosquito, fish, other insects, larva, and even each other. Some adults dragonflies live for. Only a few weeks, while other live up to a year. Thank you for listening. Over to Harsha. Okay, there are some interesting facts about dragonfly. Let's read it. Some scientists theorize that high oxygen level during the Paleozoic era allowed dragonflies to grow to monster size. At the end of its larval stage, the dragonfly crawls out of the water. Then its exoskeleton cracks open and releases the insect abdomen, which had been packed in like a telescope. Its four wings come out, and they dry and harden over the next several hours to days. Dragonfly catch their insect prey by grabbing it with their teeth. They are so efficient in their hunting that in one Harvard University study, the dragonfly caught 90 to 95 percent of the prey released into their enclosure. Thank you. Over to Shahad. Yes, thank you, Priya. So important for dragonfly. So what is the importance of dragonflies? Dragonflies are important to the environment, both as predators, particularly of mosquitoes, and as a prey to birds and fish, because uh, these insects require stable oxygen levels and clean water. Scientists scientists consider them reliable and bio indicators of the health of an ecosystem. What do Arya? Disadvantages of dragonfly include dragonfly are harmful, harmless to humans unless you force your finger into their mouth. A large golden ring dragonfly once gave my father's finger. A bloody nap has held it for me to photograph, but dragon. Certi cert certify cannot sting you, and they do not. Why you unless survival broke it? Over to Lakshit. Conclusion: Dragonflies are really cool insect. Not only are they some of the oldest on the earth, that they also have the fancy wings that make them a top predator insect. Plus, they eat. Pesky insect light, gnats and mosquitoes. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful information. Wonderful. And yes, there are still many uh, species of dragonfly that has been discovered. So maybe one of you will be the scientist, which is uh, mm -hmm. uh, concentrate on the dragonflies and also flies because it's uh, useful not only for insects, but also for us as uh, humans. Okay, now let's come to Titiksha Public School would like to present about you, butterflies. Okay. Time is yours. Okay, ma'am, from our side, Kalp is going to share the PPT. Please make him host. Yes, sure, we can. Um, we can sure be allowed to share the screen. Okay. Kalpa slide. Ma'am, is my screen yeah. visible? Yeah. Yes, it's visible. Yeah. 
first slide okay ma'am can i start no no first slide go to first slide yeah yes now you can start kal okay ma'am all the best everyone good morning to one and all present here my name is kalsing this to me and my friends are going to present a powerpoint presentation on the topic beautiful world of butterfly so let's start over to viraj greetings to all my name is viraj kumar thakur i am from shiksha public school india uh, today i am taking you through the life cycle of a butterfly butterflies are insect and have the typical four stage insect life cycle first stage is when winged adults lay egg on the food plant on which their larva known as caterpillar will feed second stage is when the caterpillar grow sometime very rapidly and when fully developed pupate in a chrysalis third stage is when metamorphosis is complete the pupal skin split the adult insect climbs out fourth stages after its wing have been expanded and dry it flies off nymphalid the nymphalid are the largest family of butterflies with more than 6000 species distributed throughout most of the world they are usually medium sized to large butterflies they are also called brush footed butterflies or four footed butterflies because they are known to stand on only four legs while the other two are curled up many species are brightly colored and include popular species such as emperors monarch butterfly admirals tortoise shell and free tanneries examples species from the family are archduke monarch butterfly blue Morpho, small heat, crimson patch, and and thank thank you. Over to Upshita. Thank you, Vidhas, for a wonderful introduction. Greetings, everyone. My name is Upshita Kumar. I am from class fourth pilot. Today, I am going to tell you about the magic of butterflies. What is a butterfly? A butterfly is a member of the Lepidoptera family. The name refers to the tiny scales covering the adult insect's wings. Due to their bright colors and visits to flowers, butterflies are the most familiar of insects to humans. Please, uh, now let us talk about some fascinating facts about butterflies. They have taste receptors on their feet. They get essential nutrients by drinking from mud puddles. They are unable to fly at temperatures below 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm-hmm. A range of ultraviolet colors invisible to the human eye. Thank you. Over to Yati. Very nice. Thank you, Upshita, for sharing wonderful facts about butterflies. So, hello everybody. My name is Yati Jastram. I study in fifth toilet. Today, I'm going to discuss about blue morpho butterfly. The blue morpho is among the largest butterflies in the world, with wings spanning from five to eight inches. Blue, an extremely rare color in nature. The butterfly has a beautiful blue coloring. It doesn't actually have a pigment to make it look that way. In fact, the blue morpho uses such a color to get the particular shades of blue. Lifespan. The entire lifespan of a blue morpho is only for 115 days, and the life as a butterfly only for two to three weeks. Please change the next slide. Thank you. Symbolizes good luck. The butterfly. some symbolizes good luck some cultures believe that spotting a blue morpho means you can have a wish granted and if you are looking to see a blue morpho you are going to need to take trip to beautiful forest of amazon thank you my dear friends over to arjun kapoor good information yeah thank you ma'am
Butterflies are the adult flying stage of certain insects belonging to an order or group called Lepo- Lepidoptera. Moths also belongs to this group. The word Lepidoptera means scaly wings in Greek. This name perfectly suits the insects in the group because their wings are covered with thousands of tiny scales overlapping in rows the scales which are arranged arranged in colorful designs unique to each species are what gives a butterfly its beauty change the slide now it is over to yash yeah arjun now it is over yeah. okay okay you start everyone my name is kashima today our topic is the magic of butterflies i will discuss about the life cycle of butterfly first egg second caterpillar third pupa fourth emerging butterfly and the fifth mm-hmm. is adult butterfly thanks mm-hmm. over to kapya Hello everybody. Myself Kavya Dutta, student of fifth order. Today, do you all know? One, na, maybe network issue. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do you just read? Oh, that the skeleton okay, butterfly. Do you all know? Caterpillars are initially brown. They change color into green with blue spots arranged in rows, and develop yellow-black eye spots. Caterpillars can reach up to two inches in length, and the tiger swallowtail can be seen in the wild from. February to November. It has a wingspan of five feet, flying through the air. Now the next slide. A more interesting fact of tiger swallowtail butterfly. Do you all know? The female produces. Two to three broods in a life cycle. She lays yellowish green spherical eggs on wild cherry, tulip tree, white ash, and sweet pea. You all know these are the natural enemies of tiger swallowtails, hornets, hawks, flycatchers, woodpeckers. Owls, squirrels, raccoons, and possums. Thank you. Have a nice day. Over to Unnati. Very good, Kavya. Yeah, change the slide. Yeah, very good. Unnati, get start. Get ready now. Hi, I'm Unnati. I'm a student of fifth toilet. Today, I want to speak about the mind on insects called butterflies. One of the beautiful wing insects is a butterfly. They have six legs, which are jointed, three parts of the body, and feet in the end. The head, the chest, and the tail, abdomen, are the three parts. With tiny sensory hairs are found on the body of butterfly. The various species of butterflies own different colored wings. From Eggs of butterflies come to life. They suck the juice from the flower. Fifteen thousand butterfly species and can be found in the such continent of India. Their body temperature generally varies from twenty-nine degrees Celsius. Everybody loves watching butterflies. Among the all insects and bugs, the butterfly is very colorful and noticeable. 
in the daylight we can easily find them in the garden and forest butterflies are found everywhere except the continent of antarctica there are millions of species of types of butterflies can be found they are generally creatures who are cold blooded at a speed of 10 km to 22 km per hour butterflies can fly bird wing is the world's colors uh, world's colors butterfly butterfly sit on the flower and suck the juice of the nectar so um, flutter is another name of for butterfly group the female butterfly generally lays their eggs on the leaf lower face over to manal thank you uh, yeah, unati very nice very good unati hi everyone my name is manal sumit i am from india i study in chitrakuta public school my grade is 5 do you know friends a world of butterfly butterfly world is located in trade wind park in coconut creek florida united state it opened in 1988 and is the largest butterfly park in the world it is the first park of its kind in the western hemisphere the facility of around house is 20000 live butterflies do you know friends 25 million butterfly die each year octopus run over or caught in wind shield or grills uh how to uh, save butterfly stop using pesticide pesticide kill everything they land on and sprays are carried around on the wind growing more nectar and rich flower keep an area of garden wind over to amber thank you manal for giving nice information thank you manal for sharing information with us Greetings all, myself and Dr. Preja from Fifth Avenue. Today, I will be presenting some interesting facts about my favorite insect, butterflies, plants that fly. Before starting, I would like to share a short poem on winged angel butterflies. Butterflies flutter, butterflies fly. They put a sparkle in your eye. Fly on my butterfly. I wish you sweet daffodils for endless day of flight. Please change the next slide. Butterflies feed on nectar from flowers. Seems strange, doesn't it? They use their long tongue to reach deep into the flowers. As such nectar you would sip through a straw. Wow! Did you know butterflies hold their wings? up over their back when they rest so interesting right butterflies go through various stages to become an adult they start their life as eggs and hatch into young caterpillars woggle woggle after more growing and changing they finally become the beautiful butterflies that we all love Butterflies comes in various sizes and colors. The bird wing and the giant swallow tail butterflies are the largest ones in the world. They can be 8 to 12 inches across. Look and behold, so big yet so small. I hope me and my fellow detectives made this session interesting for you and present information about beautiful butterflies thank you for your time thank, thank you, you so much wonderful very beautiful beautiful excellent 
Okay. Um, well, I want to add uh, for several lines before we come to Nirmala, ma'am. Okay. Uh, well, students, it, it was wonderful, but uh, in the end of the this collaboration later, uh, I've pro I already prepared some tough topic, but I want you not only to uh, to search it or googling it, googling the information, but I want you to come closely to the environment, your yard, your balcony, to see what are in, what are in the yard or balcony. I want to show you the monarch's butterflies life cycle, how the real the real capillaries. So here is it. I have this. It's uh, can you, do you see the caterpillar? Yes, yeah. yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay. So uh, this is the real appearance of the caterpillars of the monarch butterfly. Wow. Great. And you know that uh, every butterfly has its own distribution. So maybe in India you will not find like a blue mormon or you will not find any other typical uh, butterflies because uh, the the existence of butterflies relied on the existence of the plant or we call this host plant. So uh, this plant uh, played two roles. One is uh, as a host plant for the caterpillars and also for the nectar plant where butter where butterfly can uh, suck the nectar from the flowers. And you know, in one plant, you will find another creature, another insect, like this is I have mantis too. Uh, baby mantis, can you see this? Can you yes, see? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so yes, ma there is also mantis here, here, baby mantis. Yes. Okay, right? See, it's moved to my finger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then I will return it to the plant. Okay. Uh, wow, it is beautiful. Thank you. And another thing for mm -hmm. the butterflies and other insects, they have a different system. Mm -hmm. I will show you. Uh, what do you see? Yeah. Plant, right? Do you see any animals here? Yes, do you see any yes, animals? No. No, man. No animal. No. Okay, let's take closer. Let's take closer here. Do you see this? Yes, ma'am. Well, see? It's moving. Okay, so, yes. Uh, okay. yes, yes, ma'am. I yes, can ma see a caterpillar. Okay, see? If the different system is like a um, mini pretty suit, so that uh, nobody will see and will guess that in this plant there is a caterpillar but even though i love uh, flower i love plants but i let it laugh because they want they want to live they want to recycle they want to reproduce and this plant will uh, this caterpillar will eat up this plant for uh, 20 days ahead so one caterpillar will eat up all these leaves okay so I will not be worried about it because uh, this plant will will uh, reach you I mean, regrow, regrow. Yeah, uh, Thank you, ma'am, for sharing it. We have only seen them in books, but today we are seeing it real. Yeah, and and you 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 observe closely to your to your plants, okay, and don't spray anything on it because yeah, yeah. Uh, there are some another creatures. Okay, yeah. thank you so much for yeah, listening. Ma'am, I would like to say something about that uh, because we people live in cities, and in city too much pollution is there, and because of that, these types of beautiful insects cannot survive. As Manal uh, told us, we should uh, not use pesticides uh, on our plants. That is the main thing. If we want to, uh, you know, uh, preserve them, uh, protect them, we should create more and more gardens with flowers. Uh, no, ma'am. I think a small action make difference. So just yeah. uh, put the uh, one flowers or like this potted flower. So other other creatures, small creature will come. So no need to uh, manage large garden, 
but on your own home first. But in so, our areas, because it is a city, pollution is too much. So very rarely oh. uh, we can see any uh, line. Very rare. Okay, so sad. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm telling you. Because of pollution, this thing is there. Yeah, yeah. But okay. in villages, uh, full of uh, butterflies and uh, uh, yeah, dry dragon and flies, all are there. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So sad, so sad. Um, yeah. Modern people, so yeah. sad. Okay. Well, now let's come to teacher Nirmala and her students, and they will talk about fireflies. I miss yours, teacher Nimala. Okay. Teacher Rifa, thank you so much for giving us this golden opportunity. And we say that all the presentations, uh, the educators and students did a great job. Mind-blowing presentation. It will be very short because for your information, Akil and Hamizan, they are very first time in global platform. So I need to tune down to their level of uh, you know, <laughs> ability. So maybe next week I can, you know, increase a little bit of difficulty for them. Uh, Hamizan and Akil, are you all here? Yes, madam. Yeah. All right. Just be patient, present slowly, okay? Don't be afraid. All right, let me share screen. But anyway, the moderator is <laughs> quite, <laughs> quite professional teacher, Uripa. <laughs> so all are selling your same boat. The, she, the moderator is ready. <laughs> okay, teacher Uripa, hang on a minute. Sure, take your time. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, teacher Uripa, dear educators, and my dear friends. I'm the moderator for our group. Thank you, teacher Uripa, for inviting us to present today. Let me introduce the presenters who are Hamizan. Akil and myself. Today we are going to talk about the magic of fireflies. I am Priya Darshini. I love drawing and collaborating in global platforms. This is your? This is my drawing. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Let me introduce facts related to fireflies. Common name, fireflies. Scientific name, Lampy Ride. Type invertebrates. Diet omnivore. Average lifespan about two months. Size up to one inch. Fireflies are familiar. But few realize that these insects are actually beetles. Nocturnal members of the family Lampyridae. Most fireflies are weak, which di distinguishes. Distinguishes them from other insects of the same family, commonly as known as glowworms. Now, I would like to pass this presentation to Hamizan. Hamizan, can you see the slide? Yes, madam. All right, continue. Hi, I'm Muhammad Hamizan bin Hariyadi. like growing, and this is one of my paintings. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, City yeah, night. Drawing. Yes. Beautiful. City night. Yeah, weekly, everyone gets to see his paintings. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Okay. Is it? A bit of fireflies. There are about 2,000 species. This is insect, insect life in a variety of form. Environments. 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 As well as in more, in temperate, more. Temperate. Temperate. Regions. Regions. And are of familiar things on on summer on summer evenings fireflies love moisture, love moisture and moisture often and after leave after life in humid hum 
to make regions of Asia and the Americas in the areas drier areas higher areas they are found around with or as areas that retain moisture moisture okay amizan thank you i'm so akil okay wonderful Hi, I'm Mohamad Akira If Bin Shady. I am inter interested in drawing during my free time. This is my painting of SDG 5, Gender Equality. Wonderful. Wow, very good. Mm -hmm. very good. Uh, Uri, what do we, uh, what do you call uh, firefly in uh, your language? Okay. Yes, ma'am, we can talk. Okay, Mohamad Akil, you go first. Yeah. Reproduction and diet. Females deposit their egg in the ground, which is where larva develop to underground. Larva feed on worm and slug by injecting them with a uh, numbing fluid. Adult typically fit on nectar or pollen, so some adult do not eat at all. Thank you. Now, I'm going to pass Priya. All right. Now, I'm going to play a video to show about fireflies. Okay. That's all from our team, our fireflies. Thank you. Lovely. Lovely. All right. <laughs> thank you, teacher Rifa. Okay, thank you. Time. Okay, another yeah. thing that I want to say about firefly mm -hmm. is the, uh, this uh, this period. I think the the number of flies firefly is decreased because uh, they uh, they are not capable to meet because there are so many light. 
right? We have light in our city, but actually, uh, firefly like uh, produce light to attract to attract female, male and female uh, make attraction. But there are many light around us, so they are confused whether it is time from male or female. So they fail to reproduce. That's why the the number of firefly is now decreased. So sad about that. Okay, I have a uh, good news that the eggs or eggs from previous season now hatch. Can you see? Can you see that? Are these yeah. not? That's an egg. egg. Fireflies. No, no, no. It's a moth. Moth. Yeah. Moth. It's. Uh, it will become this. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Last time you were showing this thing to us. Yeah. So this is the egg. Fine. So I think you you will you will follow the step by step of uh, moth metamorphosis. <laughs> you have collections of so many eggs. I have many collections <laughs> <laughs> because I think a small eggs and sim uh, ah, yeah small and oh simple eggs and make difference, okay. right? Okay. It's time to, I go, to have fun. Me, Let's I was play. asking you, what do you call a uh, firefly in your... Oh, firefly in my language is kunang kunang. Okay, okay. very nice. Okay, mm. Indian people, what do we call uh, firefly in Hindi? Juglu. Okay. Juglu. <laughs> oh, juglu. All yeah. right. Butterfly, uh, mm. we call it? Titli. Titli. Oh. Yeah. And one more dragonfly. What do we call it? I suppose. suppose uh, yeah. No, I think uh, I, we call it uh, aeroplane, I think. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, dragon, uh, dragonfly, we call this Japan. Okay. This, uh, oh, this type no. of thing, is, we should know that uh, the local language of uh, what do we call that? Yeah, Thank that's, that's Thank important. Thank you. Okay. Over to, over to Anushka and Abhishek. Yes, that's play. I we begin with our Kahoot. Yeah. So, ma'am, should I share my screen for playing Kahoot? Yes. Um, Please yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Um, just take a minute, two minutes to play that. Uh, okay. Till then, guys, go to www.kahoot.tech. Yeah, on the you, you, you can share the link on the chat box. Yeah, share the link in the chat box, please. And over for a moment, please. Ma'am, please share the link on the chat box. Yeah, please share the link. So the link Nine seven one nine seven six four six two. Abhishek, the link. Uh, Abhishek, would you please do share the link on the chat box so they easier um, by clicking the moment. link on the chat box. Let's see who wins today. Me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you see the link on the chat box? Um, Anushka, if you wanted to have the sound, you need to click on the sound that is in the top. What? Without a voice. At the top. Yes. You have to increase this. So, everybody join. Click on the link in the corner on the screen. 197-6462. Let's see who wants the game. Join fast, everybody. Okay. 
Tom Faster. Um, if teacher wanted to join, teachers could also join. <laughs> yes. I'll put the link in the chat. Click on the link and type the code. And then enter the name. And then get in the quiz. You know, if you are there, you fast. AT, be fast, everybody. 32 bad spends are there, and I think you are 18 right now. At 20, we will begin in the next two minutes. Emmy, uh, Emmy, mom, you can join. Jyoti, mom, you can join. Yes. Teacher, let's check. Teachers, too. Mm -hmm. Let's have fun, everybody. Code is like having fun with mm -hmm. learning. Yes. yes. It's like uh, was it, when I was uh, when I was young, I like doing crossword puzzle. What I'm seeing, people are leaving the quiz. There were 18, now there are 16. Don't be afraid of you, It's uh, you. Yeah, be, uh, start now, you know, otherwise they will all leave, Anna. So you just start, maybe it's in the network, network problem or something like that. So you begin, the children will keep joining. Okay. okay. So the code would be there in the bottom. You can have a look. So, first question. So the first question is, what is the smallest dragonfly? Let's see who knows what is the smallest dragonfly. I'm not able to see the question here. Uh, you need to come at the Zoom. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, so, the time... Uh, and seven of you are correct, and eight were incorrect. So sorry. So yes. Sir. Um, wait a moment, Anushka. See everybody. I think Anushka has not enabled the option to uh for the particip oh. participants to see the question on Kahoot. So you need to. I uh, have two screens. Like first, you need to uh, come to the Zoom. Then you have to watch the questions. Uh, and the options along with it. And then you have to go to the Kahoot screen and you have to uh, take the correct answer. So, yes, Verma is reading like right now. Next question. Which group are dragonflies often confused with? I think we mentioned this answer in our presentation. If you guys have all uh, listened to the presentation carefully, you would answer this question easily. Yes. So, nine of you were correct, but sorry to say nine of you were incorrect too. So the next question, here's the little boy, uh, Nobita is leading, and followed by a queen uh, and amber. Then we have the third question, do dragonflies have antenna? True or false? Means yes or no. Oh. 
correct when the cowboy is need to be very quick and correct because challenge is there <laughs> oh none of you were correct and then were incorrect so no worries still there are 17 questions if you really quick so queen is leading followed by amber and unnati what is the largest dragonfly let's see who knows the largest dragonfly So there are 12 answers. I don't know if you have answered. I don't know if you have answered. 17. So there are six seconds. Be fast. Four, three, two, one. So eight of you were incorrect. And sorry, 11 of you were incorrect. So no worries. Still there are 16 questions. Kyun is leading. <laughs> Be fast. Next question. Which of these insects is most uh, closely related to the dragonfly? Demsel fly, demo flies, or camel flies? Cam oh, sorry, camel cell flies. Which of these insects is mostly closely related to the dragonfly? Be quick. Five, four, and up. Everybody has answered. So, um, people are getting wrong answers. So, not, not to worry. These are five, and we have a fear how many pairs of things does a dragonfly have? Two, four, six, or three. Two, four, six, or three. I think you can guess the answer by having a look at the picture. See how many pairs of wings are there. Oh, I think you guys counted the wings. We said pairs. Pair means two wings equal to one. So there were four rings, that means two pairs. You guys got confused, I suppose. So not to worry, still, how many questions? 14. Amber is leading, he's on fire. I think she, sorry, she's on fire. Then Queen and Unnati. Next question. So what is the largest food source of dragonfly? Insects or animals? Animals. Question seems like very easy. Let me give you a hint. Um, dragonfly is a dash. Animal or insect? That is the answer. Nine seconds. Be fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. So, fifteen of you were correct. I think my um got bored. So next question. Um here's the leaderboard. Amber is leading, followed by Queen and Umnati. Seems like this was the last leaderboard too. How many species uh, of dragonfly are known to now? About seven hundred, uh, about one thousand, uh, about seven thousand, uh, or about four thousand. So you have uh, 14 seconds. Think about it. 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the correct answer was about 7,000. So eight of you were correct. Let's have a look at later, board. So Amber is leading. Followed by Q and Unnati. The score board is 
eventually the same. It's not changing. I think Emery is having a good knowledge about this. Yeah, <laughs> Which country considers dragonfly as a symbol of courage and strength? Um, awesome. For a hint, that country is also known as um, the rise of means it is having the flag in between there is a big round circle of red color. It, uh, the, country yeah. is the country of a rising sun. Okay. So the correct answer was Japan. That was most of you were correct. That was nice. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. <laughs> so Amber is leading. Pink Fire Queen is on second. Priya is on fourth. Followed by Miss Harlan. Great. How many families of dragonflies are known? 11 families, 12 families, 15 families, or 17 families? Guys, <laughs> are you enjoying the quiz? Yes. Oh, that, um, I like the comment. Thank you. So the correct answer was the first one. Um, sorry, most of you were incorrect, but still there are ten uh, questions. So keep it up. Uh, I hope you can answer uh, better next time. So Amber is still leading. I think uh, she's having a good knowledge about dragonflies. That's great. Um, let's have the next question. What is the significant feature of dragonfly? You can see in the picture. It is having big eyes or small eyes or long legs or long antennae. I believe you guys could answer this question easily. You can have a look at the picture. See what you are looking at. You can see. Five, four, three, two, and one. So the correct answer was big eyes. Most of you were correct. I think you got the help on the picture. Great. So I think you are guys are full of excitement. Great. So the leaderboard has been the end of last. The queen is leading, followed by Unnati and Amber. And Stuart is on fire. Next question, please. So which English artist was supposed to make an illustration of dragonflies? So the correct answer was the 10th. Um, 10 of you were correct. The correct answer was Moses Aries. So next question. Um, Amber got on second. And Cohen is on first. Unnati is on third. Three followed by fourth. And Ali at fifth. Next question. Can I use dragonfly to control mosquitoes or other flying pests? Yes. No. Maybe. Let's see who knows the answer. Yeah. So, four, three, two, one. So, the correct answer was no, you cannot. Many of you answer yes, but no. Queen is on fire. I don't know who is this queen. Let it be surprised. So the next question. Who 
eats dragonflies. But animals are humans. Oh, th this I think was mentioned in most of the presentations. I hope you know the answer. But animals are humans. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So the correct answer was but and eleven of you were correct. Great. So let's see the scoreboard. Uh, Kieran is leading, followed by Unnati and Amber, and fourth and Priya, then Alia. Next question, please. Fifteenth. Who discovered the first dragonfly fossil? This is an easy question. So let me give you a hint. Um, I'm from Dash Country. It means the um, Tiksha Public School and Ramagay School is from which country? Oh, India. So it came from India. That was the right answer, but still I give the hint. Still many of you were wrong, but not to worry. This is just a game. So Kuhn is leading followed by Unati and Amber. Next question, please. Sixteenth. The name dragonfly is like from which word? German, French, Japanese, or Greek? Let me give you a hint. So most of the words are in English and are from uh, this language only. Greek. <laughs> yeah. At last, <laughs> all guys. Yeah. Yeah. Me and I have the scoreboard. So, Kieran is leading, followed by Amber, then Unnati, Alia, and Priya. Next question. This is the 17th question. When are dragonflies more active? In winter or cold season? In rainy and wet season? In summer or in warm season? Let me give you a hint again. So the season that is going on uh -huh. in India right now. Sorry, um, what, what is in June or like May or June? Which season uh -huh. is there? That is the right answer. Correct. You guys are very correct. In summer or in warm se uh, season, they uh, are more active rather than other seasons. Amber is on fire, Kuhn is leading, and Unnati is on third, followed by Alia and Priya. This span of dragonflies. I think you can tell this answer easily. 70, 56 days. 8 to 67 days, 5 to 8 days, or 3 to 86 days. So the first answer was correct. Great job, everybody. Kieran is fire. I think Kieran will win this game because she is leading with 3,000 points, almost 3,000. Next question. True or false? Can dragonfly easily beat honeybees if they would have fight between them like tissue and tissue? So would the dragonflies will win? This is a basic question. You can judge this by their sizes. So the correct answer was true. They can easily be tiny bees. I said you that uh, I gave you a hint that uh, let uh, know the which uh, insect is larger. So of course dragonflies are larger and they could beat easily the honeybees. So Kieran is leading, followed by Amber and Onati. 
Next question, please. Do dragonflies have teeth? True or false? <laughs> yes, last question. <laughs> then we would have a look at the scoreboard. And four, three, two, one, and then the quiz. So the correct answer was <laughs> okay. the correct and the last time. So let's have a look at the podium. Our third is Undati. Then we have Amber. Queen. And the first is Queen. Queen. Who is the Queen? Queen. Who is the Queen? <laughs> that is a surprise. See, I'm the same. Is the Queen? Yeah. Who is the queen? Who is the queen? Hello, queen. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, he or she already knows that he uh, he or she would win. That's why uh, she has written uh, yeah. queen itself. She wrote queen. Uh, but Let us queen? know who is this uh, queen. Queen? Can who is queen on the <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, is that all? Any anyone want to say something before we close the station? Today, uh, ma'am, today's uh, presentation was, you know, very uh, interesting. We uh, we uh, just fly in the world of insects, uh, beautiful insects. You can say uh, uh, butterflies, dragonflies, and uh, uh, fireflies. It was very interesting information given by you because natural thing uh, was in front of you and you are taking care of it. And many children for us saw first time this type of thing. Am I right, children? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Amber, the poem you presented, it was self-composed. You have, yeah, you spoke very well. Uh, because I think uh, right now uh, people are like make make a competition in doing uh, technological stuff, right? But they forgot the nature. So yeah, yeah I I I think uh, um, I show many many students, many teacher posting about using this platform, this and platform that, but they are modern. The modern platform, that's the, uh, yeah, uh, I do not mean that I do not like that, and that's the, that's come, come back to our root, that's the next link. And I think that's a difference, right? So uh, thank you so much for your pain, and thank you so much for your eagerness to learn. and to explore new mission and new notes. and uh, yeah i th i hope that it will give you a basic knowledge that you want to explore more about the tiny uh, tiny creature that uh, many people neglected like flies like yeah many people will um uh, will scared of flies but they don't uh, explore uh, the core of the 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 um, usefulness of the flies. So that's what I want to uh, show. And did any Mala, do you want to say something? Yeah, teacher Rifa, thank you so much for this golden opportunity um, for my students and I to join today. And uh, my students, uh, definitely they would have learned about butterflies, dragonflies, and fireflies. And the couch session was just mind-blowing. Thank you so much, Teacher Orifa. Looking forward for next week's collaboration. All right. Okay. Teacher Taruna, any word? Before oh, it was always, it's always wonderful collaborating, you know. And uh, I love hearing all the children. And Priya was the best, I, I should say, I must say. 
she is uh, i've seen a drastic change in her like the first session when i met her and now today there's a lot of difference so this platform is actually polishing all our children and uh, there's a long way to go yes and uh, they are learning by improving their communication skills also speaking skills and reading skills so it's a wonderful platform let's all collaborate and uh, make our children smarter you know ready for the future world <laughs> okay thank you so much for uh, attending the session and uh, remember that next week we will discuss about the beauty of reptiles and if you have a uh, opportunity to have a pet reptile reptile as a pet what is it and why so i think you I think uh, I want to uh, involve your experience, not only searching from Google, but I yeah, I want you really uh, experience it, okay? Doing it, doing so, it practically, you know? yeah, that is very important. Yeah, doing it practically. Uh, one session they should ask, uh, students should speak uh, with each other, because right now they are uh, reading from the PowerPoint presentation. I want uh, some uh, some day, some other day, they should talk to each other like we are talking uh, they should ask and other children should reply of that oh, this type okay. of session so that they can uh, miss communication skill will be developed if we are talking to each other they should also talk yes. this type of talk show should be there on the particular topic uh, for example uh, because uh, science is not my subject but uh, i belong to ss sst and in that we give a topic and then children will have to debate on that so right. this type of thing will help them to improve their uh, you know communication skills so and all that language all the other animals get suggestion teacher yeah thing and emima yes ma'am anything you want me, to say i have an information regarding caterpillars Yes, Kira. Uh, caterpillar, red caterpillar came out from the egg. They eat their own egg. Oh yeah, shell, shell. They are shell egg, not egg, but the shell egg. You know that's. Uh, I have just newly had caterpillar, and the new had caterpillar eat their shell, egg shell. Because they want to get the first food, it first food is is its own shell. It it is a protein. Thank you so much for asking. Okay, everybody, I want to be happy in the end of season and wonderful weekend see you Thank next you week so bye 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 as well for the beautiful comments about priya she has she improved tremendously and today she was overwhelmed when i told her that she's going to be the moderator wonderful. for my team <laughs> running it from thank you so much yes congratulations to you congratulations to you priya I want fourth place in Kapur. She won the fourth place in Kapur. Oh, fourth place in Kapur. Okay. Fourth place. Fourth place. Oh, what? Great, great. Okay. I think Karo Nama will provide the certificate for players. Okay, sure. Bye. Bye. Thank you.